Woo! Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Charles of Anime World, and welcome to a brand new manga coloring tutorial video. Yay! Yes, I've been promising you guys this, and and I and I tried to deliver on my promises. And today, guys, we're going to be coloring the hair. Now, I know what you're thinking, man. The hair can be a real bitch, you know, especially when you're trying to color. And I know, I, I know. But remember, guys, this video is going to be a video for beginners you know if you're just starting out with photoshop you know this is for you and if you're a pro and if you've been coloring for a while then you know maybe you could take a few pointers or a few tips from this video and implement it to your own artwork your own videos okay so guys let's talk about how we're going to color this hair on one of my favorite characters which from the um hit manga eden zero and i highly encourage you guys check out eden zero it's such a such a great manga, it really is. So we're going to color witch's hair. Now, in case you guys are wondering, um, I've already pre-selected the hair. Um, I've already shown you guys how to select the hair already. You need to go back and check out my how to color manga tutorial video for beginners, both parts one and two. But you know, once you check out those two videos, coming back to this one, you'll understand everything very well, you know, and it's very simple to understand. So let's get to coloring this hair. Now, when coloring hair, you gotta remember one thing, and I found this out for myself. Coloring hair is in three parts. You have your base color, you have your shadows, and you have your highlights. That's about as simple as it can get. You don't need to overcomplicate things or to scare yourself. Those are the only things you need. You need your base color, you need where your shadows are gonna be at, and your highlights, okay? So, let's find out what witch's color is going to be. And how we're going to do that, we're going to find an image of witch. You know, just simple on the internet, and there's witch in all her glory. You're going to pull the image down, okay? Going to make it a little small, so you just because we're just going to need witch for her hair today, okay? Just for her hair today, okay? So, we got a good color on the hair, the dark and the light, you know? For the shadows and the highlights. Now, when you're coloring manga, if your artist or your manga doesn't have any shadows to it, that's okay. Okay, it's actually better this way because this is the most difficult way. But when your character already has shadows in the hair, it's much simpler, and we're going to talk about that as well. So let's just say you have a character, nothing but white hair, but you got to try to manually find the shading, and you're going to have to find the base color and all the and the highlights and everything. I'm going to show you all that. So let's get the base color down. Now what you're going to do is while you're on your layer, you're going to go over and click the um half moon, half circle. You know, you know that little image right there. You know the adjustment layer. You're going to click it, and you're going to go to gradient map. You're not going to go to gradient. Don't make that mistake. A lot of people make that mistake, especially if you're a beginner. Don't worry. Do not go to gradient. You want to go to gradient map. You're going to click gradient map. Now, what that's going to do is going to color all the lightest of colors, everything that's in the white, and it's going to color everything in the black. Okay. Now, you're going to click the gradient right in the middle to select it. And that's going to open up your gradient, gradient editor. Okay. Let's bring it over here real quick. I'm just going to close that. Now, listen, guys, and I have to, I can't stress this enough, okay? When you're coloring the hair, you're selecting the colors, always leave this black. Don't change this. You always want this to stay black. If you want the lines to stay black, do not touch this. Always leave that black. Don't go anywhere near that. Leave it alone. Let it stay over there by itself. It's not bothering nobody. Okay, so let's find the white, the the lightest of the colors. Okay, so we're gonna click the white. Now that's gonna bring up your color selector. We're gonna move this over, and we, while we're on this color picker, we're just gonna select the lightest part of which is here, which is this green color, this light green. Okay, which is perfect. Boom. You see that? How simple that is. Now we're gonna press OK. Now listen, I know you guys think, wow, that looks perfect, but you're going to have to select a darker color as well. You won't see it initially when it comes up. It's going to be like it never happens, but trust me, it's going to be there, and I'm going to show you guys how to implement it. So you want to go right over here to the middle. You want to click again, 
you know, right here where, the, where it says the click to add, you're going to click another one. But this time, you're going to double click it as well. After you click it the first time, you're going to click it again and select it. What that's going to do is that's going to bring up another color selector. Okay. Now, this time, you're going to click the darker colors. Okay. Now, see, that's changed because you click the darker color, you're going to press OK. Now, I know what you're thinking. Charles, nothing happened. And that's okay. Nothing happened. Now, with that being said, you're done with Witch. You don't need this picture anymore. It's done. Goodbye, Witch. You don't need that picture anymore. Now, you have the hair selected. Now, what did I say, guys? With coloring hair, hair is only three parts. It's your shadows. It's your base color and your highlights. So what I want you to do now, we have the base color down. That's done. That's easy. You're going to go right here. You're going to click where it says background at your very first layer. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to add a new layer. So you can go right here and then click that. That's going to add you guys a new layer. Now, from that new layer, what I want you to do is while you're selecting this layer one, I want you to go down and I want you to go to multiply. Okay. Now, but it's very important. Make sure your layer, your new layer that you made is right underneath the gradient map one layer. Okay. It has to be underneath that. Now then that is underneath that. This is what I want you to do guys to do while highlighting the gradient map, the black and the white image. I want you to pr press your control button one time. And while you're pressing down on the control button, click your mouse. That's going to select your hair all over again. So that's okay. So you don't go out of the lines. Now, make sure that you're back on your layer one. You know, if you're on your layer one and have that little white border around it show, showing that that's what you selected. Now, you're going to go to your brush. It's nothing simple, nothing complicated. You're just going to go to your brush. And the settings that you're going to use, you're going to click your brush settings. And depending on how big you want your picture or um, the detail you're going to choose, make your brush size any size that fits the image that you're going to be using. But this is when everything comes, you know, you have to listen real closely. The hardness. You've got to make sure that your hardness is all the way at zero. Should have zero hardness. Okay. Next. Your opacity, leave your opacity no greater than 11, maybe 12 if you're feeling nasty, but no, no greater than 11. Now, what this is going to do now is why you have, why you on your brush and it's just a basic brush. This is no type of fancy brush. This is just a basic brush that comes with Photoshop basic. I didn't have to download anything. It's just a basic brush. What we're going to do now is we're going to create our shadows. Now, when you're creating shadows, you have to think of it from light standpoint. And I know that's very complicated. And let me explain to you guys this. When you're creating shadows, you have to picture in your mind exactly how does hair overlap? You know, the way that the author made the hair and exactly which way would the light, you know, not be visible on the hair? So think about it this way. If you have long hair right underneath your chin right here, you wouldn't be able to see any light because your chin would be basically blocking it. Your head would be blocking it. So right on around here in this area, we're going to shade that in. We're just going to press like that. Okay. See what I mean? Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go around here. And see right here where the hair kind of overlaps at? We're going to just do a few strokes of that as well. Just a few strokes. Nothing crazy. Okay. Now, with the tips, you just want to do little tips. You know, just a little bit of the tips. See? Nothing too crazy. And a little hint, guys. What artists, what mangakas will do is that they'll give you little hints where the lines are at. That's where you basically would make your shadows at. So where the lines are at, just make your shadows right, right there. A little bit right here. A little bit right here. See what I mean? Where the lines are at. A little bit right here. You know, a few clicks. It won't hurt nothing. You know, a little bit right there. A little bit right here as well. 
you know see what I mean guys how the shadows is coming a little bit right here as well and a little bit right over here you know you have a little fun with it don't get too crazy with it because it'll, it'll look like a mess okay so now that you have your shadows done okay I'm really happy with the shadows the shadows look you know okay I, I, I'm, I'm liking the shadows I want to go a little bit more right here you know and maybe a little more right there on the chin as well and a little more coming around the head a little bit and then a little down okay so with that being said you have your shadows now now what you're going to do is you're going to click your gradient map level one again and now you're going to make a new layer now with this layer right here you don't change anything you don't make it multiply you leave it normal what you're going to do instead of black now because this is above you're going to make sure that you switch your foreground and your background colors so that the white is in front now using that same brush that you just did you know the same exact brush you want to go over into the middle part of each hair and then just start with a little bit of white and what that's going to do is that's going to make some highlights see what i mean guys just a little just you know right in the middle parts you don't have to do it for each part but right in the middle you're going to make your highlights that's all just a little bit of the white right there right there see what i mean just right in the middle you don't have to go all the way down with it just right in the middle because that's where, how, where the highlights are at for the hair okay and then guess what guys you can press control and deselect now and boom you have hair you see what i mean guys look at that hair just look at the hair with the hair and, and look three layers that's the base background color what did i just tell you guys the shadows your base color and your highlights and remember that's how the order is going to be in too your shadows are always going to be underneath your gradient map for your hair and your highlights are always going to be above your gradient map for your hair remember your shadows are also going to be under multiply always remember that when you make your shadows make sure that you set the layer to multiply but when you do your highlights always leave that to normal okay and also if you want to all right just for fun let me just show you guys one other thing let me press control again to select that i'm going to just you know get rid of that highlights you know just hide it for a second it doesn't have to be white either guys if you want to you can go to your color selector and you can say okay let's just say i want yellow highlights okay you can go to yellow or tan or you know whatever any color it doesn't have to be white but always remember you want to make sure that your brush hardness is at zero and your opacity is at 11 12 if you want to be nasty okay and then you just want to go over and do the same thing see look at that look at that see in the middle your highlights are always going to be in the middle see that guys look it doesn't have to always be you it doesn't always have to be uh white either you just do some yellow highlights and always try to get it in the middle don't do it too much and make sure when you're doing your highlights that you don't you really fuck up and you know mess around with your shadow part as well because that's your shadows for a reason see what i mean and you just you know you're just going over it that's it and actually that looks actually better than what i had before just a different color you know it doesn't have to be white it could be any color you know and it's just fun just playing around with it and again this is for beginners okay then press control and deselect and look at that look at that that's hair that's your shadows that's your um highlights and your base color all in one and like i said rem always remember um your your shadows is always going to be underneath your gradient map so your shadows is going to be multiply and your highlights is always going to be above your gradient map and that's just always going to be normal it can't get any more simpler than that i didn't download anything special i didn't use any type of different method it's just three layers a gradient map for your base colors your shadows and your highlights and that guys is how you color hair sometimes you get manga characters in the mangaka you know the author 
he actually, you know, has the decency to actually shade in himself. So you, you don't have to do any shading. And that's perfect. So let's just say someone like the Queen Irena Nakri from, you know, the hit series Food Wars, Shokugeki no Sama. You know, I want to color her hair. Now, obviously, I've already did the work and I've shaded and I've already, you know, selected her hair, which is, you know, thank goodness I did all of that already. So what you're going to do is you're just simply going to start like the exact same way, guys, but with less steps. Because with this, since it's already been colored in the shadow, the only thing you do is you go to um, your little yin yang sign, your adjustment layer. You want to click that. Go to gradient map again. Not gradient. I got I can't stress that enough. You're going to go to gradient map. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your gradients and you're going to select the color for Arena's hair. Now, I already have that color selected already because I've colored it previously. But you're going to do the exact same thing. Go to um, find a picture of her, Arena the Queen, and then you're just going to select the highlights and then you're going to select the shadows. Always leave the black black never touch the black okay don't go near the black don't bother the black respect the black okay leave it alone okay your shadow is always going to be somewhere up here closer to your highlights it's not going to be in the middle a lot of people you think that okay i'm going to select the highlights in the middle and the shadows are always going to be somewhere in the middle that's where i'm going to place my shadows you're not going to do that because it's going to make it too light. You always want your shadows kind of close to your highlights, but not really. But you want it like at least like 25 to 35 percent away from your highlights. You know, and you want your, your like I said, your blacks to stay black. Click that. And then right then and there, guys, it's already colored the um, highlights for you and the shadows already. So then that's just less work. So I just want to point you guys out. The two differences when you're coloring something that already has shadows and coloring something that doesn't have shadows as well. OK, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick tutorial. Um, next time we're going to talk about the eyes. Yeah. And, um, you know, we may do a little skin tutorial as well. We may talk about blush um, as well for characters. And, you know, we're going to keep this thing going. And before we end this, guys, and wrap this up. Um, before we get to the closing of the video, I just want to show you guys something that I, you know, I brought everything else down besides the hair so you can just focus on the hair. Look how good the hair looks though, really. And like I said, I mean, I'm not a professional, but look how good it looks. This is just my style. This is how I color hair and it looks damn good. You know, I'm just showing you guys, if I can do this, you can too. And like I said, one tip that I can give you guys is that when you're coloring and you're doing the shadow, always look for when the hair overlaps. So like right in this section right here, you see how this hair kind of drapes over that hair and the lines, the lines is a really big help. So where all these lines, you know, you know, all collide at, that, that's a good place for the hair. Um, also, guys, the tips is always also a good place um, for shading as well. Um, Always, whenever someone has their hair down and it's long and it's like curving over and their face is right against it, you should know that a lot of shadows going to be over there because there's no way light from this area could hit this section because, you know, it's covering up from her neck and her uh, cheekbone. So there's no way light could hit that section as well. And a little bit at the top never hurts, you know. that That's just a few shading tips as well. And always remember, guys, before, before I wrap this up, remember that um, the highlights always try to hit it right in the middle always right in the middle don't fuck with your shading don't try to go overlap your shading because then there would be no point of having shading if you overlap it always try to just go right in the middle right in the middle of the thick parts of the hair and that will you know will usually be where your um highlights will be at you know and i just wanted to um, show you guys that little bit right there before we wrap this video up but hey, that'll do it, guys. I'm your Captain Charles Zenime World. I will see you guys next time. And hey, sign our suckers.